everybody. Welcome back. It's me, Amanda May. Thank you so much for watching today. Today, I am going to walk you through how I do a full face of makeup and explain my thoughts on the subject. I don't know about you guys, but my mom always wore a full face of makeup every day, no matter what. She really influenced me that you don't leave the house without makeup. So, that was the philosophy I adopted. So I started wearing makeup in 8th grade. I would mostly wear eyeliner and lipstick or lip gloss. Then in high school, I started wearing a full face of makeup every day, and I did that all four years. But then I had a very traumatic experience that broke me from that mindset slash habit at church youth camp where I was forced to go to the mall without my makeup. <sighs> so once I experienced that the world didn't come to an end because I didn't wear makeup out of doors, which really surprised me at the time, it changed my perspective on the whole thing. So in college, I didn't wear makeup on a regular basis. I only wore it when I wanted to dress up you know, for fun. Now, I really only wear a full face of makeup for photo shoots and sometimes vi videos, but I no longer think the world is going to end without it. However, I still wear lipstick when I leave the house, but that's about it. I used to wear lipstick and eyeliner, but since my eye injury in 2016, and getting diagnosed with chronic dry eye and my constant allergies. I can't wear eye makeup very long. Four hours was about the max I could wear it before my eyes would explode. But I've been working on it. I've been experimenting and I can do about six hours now. So let me explain why I suddenly I'm suddenly so into makeup again. Lately, I've been studying my God's Words journals, and in 2009, God told me to wear a full face of makeup every day so that if Nick just so happens to call me and is ready to reconcile with me that day, because it could be today, I will be ready. This is what God said, quote, you wouldn't want Nick to roll out of bed and show up at your house, would you? No. You'd want him to get up, get dressed up, do his hair, shave, you know, the normal stuff, and then come see you. It's the same thing. You don't know you have nowhere to go. Nick could call you up at 5 p.m. and say, hey, let's get together tonight, and you don't know. Just because he didn't call at 12 p.m. doesn't mean he can't. y'all can't get together at 8 p.m. The point is, you don't know. You don't know when Nick is going to call. But you do know it's going to be soon because that's what God told you. So you have to be prepared. You have to be ready. It's part of your instructions to look beautiful and fresh and perfect like you just so happen to <laughs> look this way all the time. Nick doesn't know no makeup Amanda. He knows never leave the house without makeup Amanda. That's the girl he knows. That's the girl he likes." End quote. Then an episode of Gilmore Girls called Emily Says Hello came on and God said that's what we're trying to avoid by practicing being ready. And I go, oh. November 22nd, 2009. See, what happened was, after I graduated college, and in those lulls between jobs, I would just hang out in my pajamas all day, and God was trying to break me of that habit. And now, in 2022, I've developed the habit of hanging out in my workout clothes all day if I'm not going anywhere. So, I was reflecting. It's been about 12 years since God told me that. And I have yet to actually master wearing a full face of makeup on a regular basis. 
So it got me thinking. <laughs> what if that was the missing link? What would you do if you knew you could be with your future husband if you would just wear a full face of makeup every day? Would you do it? Or would you throw all your makeup away like never? Again, I've been experimenting lately where, by wearing a full face of makeup every time I leave the house. Hopefully, I'll get around to wearing it every day, regardless on if I leave the house or not. Uh, but I haven't made it yet. So for today's video, I thought I would show you what I do when I do wear a full face of makeup. So this is all the makeup that I own. Let me pan it around. When I do wear a full face of makeup, I wear sunscreen moisturizer, foundation, powder, blush, eyeshadow, eyeliner eye pencil. I can't wear a mascara, but I have it if I want to. Chapstick, lipstick, and lip gloss. Ta-da! So, without further delay, let us begin. You ready? Let's go! By the way, I've never done this before, i.e. put my makeup on, on camera, so, wish me luck. Okay, so, first I have to take my glasses off. Now I'm completely blind, so I'll scoot my mirror closer to me. I already did my moisturizer, so I'm going to go right in with foundation. This is the foundation I usually use, but it's almost empty, so I'm going to start. My new foundation it is Maybelline New York Dream Urban Cover. Full coverage, protective makeup with sunscreen. I've never tried it before. Hopefully it's the right color. We'll see. I really got to get my mirror closer to me. Okay. Let me know in the comments if you're interested in makeup and makeup tutorials. I've never done one, like I said, so this is all brand new to me. Do y'all also enjoy hair tutorials? I am not a hair wizard by any means. I kind of just, you know, keep my hair very, very simple. Mm. This is brand new. I just opened this and uh, you can really smell the sunscreen. I know that you're supposed to use like a sponge or like And some sort of applicator and not your fingers because it's more hygienic or something like that but like I said I'm only just now like getting it back into the habit of wearing a full face of makeup on a regular basis so I haven't committed to any type of sponges or nothing but maybe I will Do you guys like to wear makeup yourself? Do you wear it on a regular basis? Like every day? Or only on days that you're going somewhere? Or do you wear it 
for, I don't know, special occasions, like parties or going out on a hot date, perhaps. Which, if we listen to God, that's why I'm putting on a full face of makeup, just in case I have a hot date that night. <laughs> I enjoy a good hot date. Good time. Mm. So if you notice, I'm putting uh, some of my foundation on, on my eyelids. I've heard about like eyeshadow primer, but I've never used any. <laughs> show you today is very 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 basic it's real simple and uh, I don't do really anything fancy however people do compliment me when I do wear my makeup like you know, I, I, because I don't wear it very often like people will notice and they'll be like oh my gosh I love your makeup and I'm all like thanks <laughs> I guess it's like noticeable when I you know, when I actually wear it versus when I don't. However, the key to wearing makeup is to look like you're not wearing any at all. Irony. <laughs> For those of you who do wear makeup, do you like the bigger dramatic looks? Do you like more theatrical looks like with like wing tipped eyes and like do you like or do you like more subtle you know nobody can tell I'm wearing it makeup How fast do you do your makeup? My makeup, um, when I'm not talking through it, it takes me anywhere from five to ten minutes. Um, we'll see how long this takes. We'll see. I don't know. I may edit this video so that it doesn't quite take as long. But. Dandy dandy wash rag. Wash all the makeup off. Alright, so I have my foundation on. And I don't know, I think it's a good color for me. So I will do some powder. Oh yeah, I broke the other day. <laughs> Again, I'm not a professional makeup artist by any stretch, but you know. That's okay. <laughs> As I told my friends in my Bible study, there's not one way to be, one right way to be a woman, so. Pat. 
what I mean by that is, now I'm doing blush. What I mean by that is, if you happen to be a woman and you're not into makeup, that's perfectly fine. You do not have to be. I hear that guys are also into makeup. I don't know. When I do blush, I usually just put it on the apples in my cheeks. I think that's what they're called. <laughs> I enjoy the rosy cheeks. This particular uh, I, this particular blush comes with an eyeshadow applicator, which I have definitely used it as eyeshadow, and I like it. It's just this is both my powder and my eyeshadow or my blush eyeshadow thing are LA colors. If you care about brands. Blend it. Blend. Okay. So I'm gonna go in with my eyeshadow. So this is CoverGirl Jewel Palette, and I'm going to use. I'm going to use the orange, and the blue, and the white, and the black today. To match my shirt. So, I kind of do the medium tone first. And then go with, back in with the darker colors. And or and the what like lighter colors, the highlight colors. I kind of just do, I'm just doing my whole lid in orange. Fun fact, me and Sandy have this exact same color palette. Isn't that funny? <laughs> we both particularly like this bronzer shade. We, we, use, we both use that one a lot. Okay, can you see? We have orange. I think I'll do the white. First, just under my brow. Again, I don't believe in right and wrong. Like, as far as to in what order you put your eyeshadows on. So now I'm going to go in with this dark blue. I'm excited about it. I've seen where some people, like, they only put eyeshadows in their crease or whatever. I put my, like the dark shades on the bottom, the light shades are on the top, and that's about as far as it goes. I feel a little bit like Bob Ross. Let's make some happy little tree trees. Yes, a happy little tree. If you happen to notice, all the, on my corner unit, you can see my Bob Ross bobblehead doll. <laughs> my brother got me that for Christmas. Isn't that hilarious? Good times. <laughs> I'm 
I'm gonna go back in with some uh, orange. I think my blue's overpowering it just a little bit. Just a little bit. Do you have a favorite color of eyeshadow? Like your go-to? Like me and Sandy like the bronze color. Do you have a favorite eyeshadow? Favorite look? Favorite lipstick? And then I'm going to use because it's Halloween. I'm going to go in with this black color. Just on the very edge tip. And then bring it down to my lower lashes. I used to have a really dark gray, like a charcoal gray, and I wore that thing out, like, like, by the time I was done, it was, like, empty, like, <laughs> eyeliner too. Today I'm just going to do straight across the top and bottom. I'm not one of those that like they paint their waterline. I can't do that. I've never been able to do that. And I especially can't do that with all my eye problems. So. so I go under the eyelash line. But I heard on what not to wear. That if you only line the top lid that makes your eyes look bigger and just skip the bottom lid like I think you can do like mascara but like just skip the skip eyelining the bottom lid and just do the top lid will make your eyes look bigger but when I was in high school I, <laughs> heavy eyeliner on the bottom lid was all the rage or just heavy eyeliner all together. And I have two different uh, eyebrow pencils. This one's more blonde. This one's more brown. I think I will, since I'm almost out of my blondie one, I'll go ahead and use that one. I used to not use eyebrow pencil at all. Uh, Uh, I used to have really big, full eyebrows, and so I wouldn't need any eyebrow pencil. But I've got, as I've gotten older, my eyebrows have gotten more thin, and I find that adding just a little bit of eyebrow pencil will fill them in and my face better. Alright. I'm not going to use my mascara today because, duh. <laughs> On to lips. I don't know about you, but I happen to love chapsticks. And my favorites are the chap chapstick brand Holiday Collection. Um. I finished the sugar cookie one. That one was my favorite. This one's pumpkin pie, which, uh, pumpkins, yes please. It's October. 
So I will use that one today. And I'll put my glasses on. Now I can see you. All right, I have three. I have, I have three lipsticks, and they're all red. <laughs> This one I've had, this is, I got this one for the play that I was in, uh, when I was in State Fair, and look at this, this is how much I have left. I wear it all the time. And then Sandy got me this one, uh, it is also a red. This one is called Hot Passion. This one is called Eden. And I bought this one myself. And it's CoverGirl Melting Pout Liquid Lipstick. And it's Gel Yes. And then lips, lip glosses. I only have a couple of lip glosses, or a few. Today I'm going to use a sampler Mary Kay lip gloss and it's called Rock and in red rock in red I'm trying to use it up That about does it. So here is the completed look. Let me know if you like it. Um, again, I did my eyeshadows to match my shirts. YouTube pose. Thanks for watching my video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you again next time. Bye.